Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Very good morning. How are you? Yeah. I'm yeah. Good, good afternoon in your time zone. Absolutely yes. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Uh, hello, uh, everyone from the distance skating community. Uh, myself, Krishan Srinivasan, a uh, uh, distance skating enthusiast who just got into distance skating, and uh, I'm also a fine art photographer for, uh, for the people who are just watching the video for the very first time. Okay, we have been doing this uh, interview series with uh, distance skaters, and uh, we have been doing a few interviews right now. And uh, whom we have here is a very, uh, you know, like uh, impressive uh, talent. You know, from Germany, uh, Miss Daniela Langer. She is a distance skater. <laughs> she is a multifaceted person. You will know in a bit as we go through our questions. Okay, and uh, she manages a company. She is an architect, and uh, she is an ab absolute uh, wonderful human being as far as I've known. You know, and I. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> this is Vanakkam. Uh, this is a gesture from my land, you know, uh, to welcome people. Uh, welcome, welcome to the uh, mm -hmm. interview series. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I know, ma'am, uh, uh, Miss Daniela through uh, Stefan Keikel, you know, like uh, he introduced uh, us, uh, set this up. Uh, this interview has been that uh, catalyst for us. And uh, I know him through... Uh, distance skating uh, community on Facebook, you know, like he's a very popular uh, figure over there. So is Black Dog Sketch Shop. So uh, I'm breaking the ice right now. I've been holding it. She is the <laughs> owner of Black Dog Sketch Shop. So uh, yes. let's get into the interview. Ma'am, I've, yeah. I've given my perception and uh, whatever little I knew about you. So kindly for the audience, please tell us about yourself. Yeah, thank you, Krishna, for having me on your show. Uh, I'm very grateful for this. And yeah, I can tell you something about me. Uh, I'm 15 years old and uh, I'm living in Braunschweig, which is a city in the north of Germany in mm -hmm. between um, Berlin and Hamburg, maybe two hours driving distance from Berlin. Mm -hmm. um, I've been skateboarding since I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I have a heptalon, uh, tennis, windsurfing, and snowboarding background. Mm -hmm. um, as you told before, I'm an architect and uh, building engineer, and I worked uh, 15 years for management boards worldwide mm -hmm. in the automotive logistics. Um, but actually, uh, I'm working as an architect at the city services mm -hmm. in my hometown region. And I've been into LDP for six years now. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> but I would like to welcome you again uh, for the Distance Skaters and Founders uh, series of interviews. And uh, um, ha ha Daniela, how it is to be part of the Masters category in Distance Skating? Yeah, it's very nice that uh, Black Dog is getting more and more attention worldwide after mm -hmm. only three years in business. Imagine three years only at oh, this point. Yeah, that's awesome. And I'm very grateful that our complete and single parts are shipped uh, to customers all over the world uh -huh. and that the feedback is just awesome and very overwhelming. Uh, when I f uh, uh, first saw you on your show on the internet, uh, wow. mentioning our products, uh, I you. was very pleased and it felt really cool uh, in a certain way. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you. I'm surprised too, actually. Uh, so, uh, tell us about your skating journey, ma'am. Yeah, uh, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I bought my first skateboard at the age of 10 in uh, 1982. It was a really crappy one, and I used it mainly for commuting, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I prepared something for you. Please. I will Super show excited. you. excited. So oh. this is my first skateboard from Old the 80s, board. early 80s. Yeah, awesome. I, yeah. Yeah, I um, bought it from my pocket money, oh, <laughs> and awesome. it was uh, very expensive at that time. Uh -huh. Yeah, but um, I used I used it a lot, many many years. I used it, and but um, I kept on riding the skateboards till uh, these kind of skateboards uh, or streetboards till 2016, and then 
I met Stefan and shared his passion for LDP immediately. Mm -hmm. So that was a game changer at all, mm -hmm. <laughs> in all kind of uh, ways, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got more and more into the LDP and fell in love with the sport and its possibilities. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think uh, it's a sport for almost everyone and for people of all ages, yeah. It's great for commuting, it's mm -hmm. a nice hobby, you can use it for Sunday afternoon rides or as an alternative for um, maybe downhill longboarding or uh, aggressive skateboarding, which is not that common in my age <laughs> anymore. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so I, um, I, soon I recognized the lack of affordable uh, products mm -hmm. uh, on the German and uh, European market. Mm -hmm. And then I established uh, Black Dog in 2019. Oh, Uh, by the way, uh, the name Black Dog derives uh, from my big black dog I had once. Okay. Yeah, and uh, very huge one. And his name was Rafe. Uh, and so we called one of the decks uh, Rafe as well. Oh, nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> I prepared something for you. Oh. This is Ra oh, this That's was so Rafe. Sweet. He's He's in, he's not uh, with me um, since uh, nine years now, but oh, he's still totally in my heart. Awesome. <laughs> That's a lovely picture you have there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, dogs are family anyways. Uh, yes. So, ma'am, how did you find Black Dog uh, Skate Shop? You know, like, share us the backstory about Black Dog Skate Shop. Yeah. Um, Stevens had a brand which was called Stevolution. Mm -hmm. um, it was established already, but uh, only as a designer uh, brand and not as a business branch at all. Mm -hmm. So um, he presented his ideas um, mm -hmm. of affordable LDB products at mm -hmm. the ISPO, which is a fair in Munich, in mm -hmm. early days of 2019. And okay. I had a lot of good feedback from the professional branches and the professional riders as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I turned his ideas uh, from design uh, into a business and mm -hmm. established the Black Dog Skate Shop in spring of 2019. Okay. Um, but uh, then uh, Stefan gave up his brand but uh, is still doing the design and development of new products um, and LDP completes for Black Dog. Okay. So uh, our goal uh, was always to set up a complete uh, with the best price uh, um, and performance ratio. This is our goal from the start right on till now and for the future as well, of course. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Black Dog is a small manufacturer um, due to the circumstances that LDP is still only a niche in longboarding. Um, yeah, sort of. I understand. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Uh, uh, you know, coming from different side of the globe, I could see that. Yeah. And... Um, The reason, because we are doing this in Germany or in my hometown regi uh, region, is uh, that I like the idea of producing a small series directly here in my hometown area, mm -hmm. where I have full control of the process, of the production process and the quality. That's, uh, yeah, that's uh, very important for me. Uh, and then it comes all back to my philosophy, keep it simple. Always. <laughs> That's great. That's great, actually. Yeah. Simple is actually very tedious sometimes, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah. Well, I my, want... Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. please, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want people to experience a great feeling of uh, pumping and therefore I want to offer a complete uh, that is affordable and doesn't cost 600 euros uh, or even more. That's the point at all. At all. Oh, yeah. Great. Uh, We are not here, on Black Dog is not here uh, about making money. It's about doing what uh, I love to do. Uh, it's all about passion and joy, not about making money. That's lovely. That's yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. incredible, actually. I, yeah, but... Yeah, please, please. Yeah, by the way, you don't get rich by selling ADP... Um, 
sport. <laughs> you can't uh, even making a living from it. It's not possible. Okay. Uh, and um, Stefan isn't into business anyway. Oh. Um, he just loves to make the new ideas and improvements. Um, and sometimes she drives, he drives me crazy with his ideas <laughs> and improvements. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand that. <laughs> No way. <laughs> so, um, how many employees do you have? Like, uh, how do you manage your company? None. There are no wow. employees at all. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm the owner and I do everything uh, by myself. My wow. uh, job is the administration, the production wow. and purchase of single parts, the web shop, uh, the promotion, the uh, social media stuff, and of course, the packaging and the shipping. Wow, that's incredible and inspiring, actually. Probably a lot of women uh, distance skaters who are watching this interview will definitely be inspired, too. That's awesome. Um, uh, tell us about Mr. Stefan and uh, what is his mm -hmm. part in the Black Dog Skate Shop? Yeah, he's also addicted to uh, boarding. <laughs> he got his... He's, uh, he got his first skateboard in 1978 uh -huh. and was a board junkie since then. Um, I think in uh, 1981, mm -hmm. he went on a vacation to Half Moon Bay in California. Mm -hmm. And uh, there he came addicted to surfing. Wow. <laughs> mm. Yeah, back in Germany, he did all kinds of board sports, mm -hmm. uh, but mainly the windsurfing. Oh. Um, Ste Stefan, uh, I have to notice this, Stefan is not an employee at all. He doesn't mm -hmm. get paid at all. Mm -hmm. He's doing it just for the fun and gives 100% of the input of the design. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. I've seen yeah. him and uh, his involvement in uh, Facebook groups and everything. You know, like he's promoting Black Dog Skate Shop, like, uh, as if it's his own, you know, like that's amazing. He even offered me good prize actually back then. So uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Please, please continue. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, of course, he's also setting up uh, the completes and helps me with the packaging and the uh, uh, shipping sometimes. Of mm -hmm. course, if if it's too much, he jumps right in and helps me. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Besides, he's giving workshops uh, mm -hmm. to interested people like uh, school teachers and uh, school kids. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot. He's doing a lot of this. Awesome. And um, yeah, he's, uh, he's very busy with this. And you <laughs> and take care of the company. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I run uh, Black Dog part time and uh -huh. finance myself uh, with your regular job I mentioned before. Yeah. And so does Stefan uh, as well. Yeah, uh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, uh, can you help us line up the products that is uh, offered in Black Dog Skate Shop? Mm, yeah, of course. Um, our own product are the decks. Uh huh. Uh, the different forks and brackets, mm -hmm. and of course the LDP completes. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes uh, we also offer a surf skate or classic longboard. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. happened to see your but, Instagram uh, video recently. You were on your surf skate on the pump track. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is, this is one uh, that will open soon. It's still closed. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but we have to check it out uh, soon, very soon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right now we have the Apex deck, mm -hmm. um, the f uh, the fork F15. Mm -hmm. This is this one here mm -hmm. with a 15 degree angle. Mm -hmm. uh, the F0 oh, okay. fork. Okay. Which is uh, the same, but w without the angle, of course. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and the zero degree adapter for regular RK pay trucks. This is this one. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 These are our parts at the time. Mm -hmm. um, trucks, wheels, uh, and bearings are not made by Black Dog. Uh, mm -hmm. I buy them from different distributors for the Black Dog completes. Mm -hmm. Maybe there will be a top mount, mount pumper and a super low board for pushing soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This will depend on Stefan and his time to set up these boards. Oh. But our main product uh, is the Apex bracket board for LDP uh, with its great price. 
Oh, actually. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. How about Rave? Um, yeah, this um, the Rave deck um, is um, not in stock anymore. At okay. Now at the time, but we will uh, produce uh, a better version of the Rave again in the near future. Okay. Yeah, that's is, uh, the Rave deck is um, twenty two centimeters long and nee, uh, seventy two centimeters long and twenty seven centimeters wide with a concave of one uh, centimeter. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's made out of beech and poplar, mm -hmm. and it's suitable for light riders with a weight up to 65 kilograms. Okay. Um, and I think, hopefully, I can offer a version uh, for heavy riders uh, next year. Yeah, and what I uh, said, it's actually sold out. Oh, cool. But what we have in stock right now is the Apex deck. Mm. which is uh, 80, kilo, uh, 80 centimeters long and 25 centimeters wide with a concave of 1.5 centimeters. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, deck is made out of Canadian uh, marble mm -hmm. and much stronger. For this deck, we recommend a rider's weight up to 110 kilograms. Awesome, awesome. That was my next question as well. So uh, thanks, thanks. Uh, great detailed information. I totally appreciate that. Um, uh, who handles the... Uh, You're ship? welcome. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next question, like who handles the shipping department? Uh, like where do you ship your products? Like who are your customers? Like wh what age group they belong to? Yeah, as I said it before, I handle everything by myself, also the shipping. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, the products um, are shipped from Germany with uh, or by DHL mm -hmm. with free shipping inside the European Union. Okay. So uh, the shipping includes also the tracking code as well as ins insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, uh, one third of our customers, uh, or around one third of our customers. Uh, is living outside the European Union, and I have to calculate shipping prices every time for each and every one. Okay. Uh, so it's it's very different where you live, uh, in which corner you live on on this planet here. Yeah. Cool. Um, the the forwarding companies in uh, in the foreign um, countries uh, are sometimes different from the German DHL, <laughs> of course. So, black dog customers are. Yeah, nearly in every uh, corner of this planet uh, so far, except Africa and Antarctica. That's amazing. <laughs> so, good to hear, actually. Yeah, it's, yeah uh, I suppose they have enough good streets in Antarctica. <laughs> so that's why I'm not, uh, we are not there. Cool. Um, our customers um, are of all ages, oh, actually. Awesome. The youngest one I can remember um, was seven years old. Uh -huh. And the oldest one, I know him personally, is 80 years old. Wow, that's 80 inspiring. years old, that's yes. That's amazing. <laughs> so you're catering to all age groups then. That's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah, one of the reasons the... probably you have a great reach all over the world. It is. And uh, it proves that uh, the LDP sports is uh, uh, um, a rounder. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, so ma'am, like, uh, may I ask, like, how many orders you get on an average? Like, do you have plans to uh, expand your business? Mm. Always. <laughs> cool. Always to expand. Yeah, but in small steps. Uh, when Black Dog um, announces this new small series of completes, mm -hmm. um, it's often sold out within days or a few weeks, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, but together with a new Apex deck, uh, I produced a large quantity of forks and brackets mm -hmm. um, to satisfy all requests immediately. Uh, mm -hmm. The Apex Complete will be in stock for a longer time now, what, which I told you before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can satisfy a larger group of people now. Mm -hmm. uh, if people uh, get interested in LDP, um, uh, Black Dog will probably grow a little bit. But um, I guess um, if LDP will suddenly boom, we mm -hmm. hope it will boom, mm -hmm. there are other bigger brands and companies that will make the deal of their life, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's great. That's great. I wish good for Black Dog Skate Shop. That's amazing. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I heard Black Dog uh, Skate Shop is all about lifestyle and everything. So, like, do you have any plans for uh, your own uh, merchandise, maybe? you know for distance skating product yeah i'm i'm wearing a um, shirt right now that's awesome <laughs> and we and we sold some black uh, dog shirts and caps some time ago mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and maybe we will produce them uh, again if there's a demand for it but mm -hmm. our focus is um, more on the technical side of producing boards and uh, single parts that's our core business okay uh, when I talk about lifestyle, I don't mean merchandise or fashion, mm -hmm. uh, but um, more the joy of uh, pumping and getting into the flow without any thoughts about competition. Okay. Uh, I would say that Stefan and I are more a type of a soul skater or a soul boarder. Awesome. Awesome. So just be on the wheels, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Every every spare time we are on the wheels. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mom, uh, how active uh, is uh, Braunschweig, your birthplace, like in distance skating? Like, uh, name some activities that happens over there. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, there is no distance uh, skating scene in Braunschweig at all. Oh. We have a. F yeah, we have a friend uh, living not far away, mm -hmm. 40 kilometers, um, which is half an hour driving distance. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that's about it. Um, he rides the Apex Complete as well. Mm -hmm. And he's some kind of an ambassador for Black Dog. Oh. Um, that's great. Yeah, we, we board a lot. We awesome. are doing a lot of stuff together. Yeah. That's great. Uh, but we are... Yeah, but we do have a small uh, surf skate scene here, mm -hmm. and surf skating might get a small branch for Black Dog as well, mm -hmm. um, as we are open to everything. Um, and we just go a new pump trick here. Um, you told uh, you you saw it on Facebook my pictures there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we have to check it out soon. It's not opened yet. Okay. Uh, but uh, the first impressions were very good. Awesome, awesome. That's what people need to hear, actually. You know, from the creators themselves, you know. So if you're confident, yeah. they're going to be happy. They're going to be happy. Yeah. So you're going to put some I smile so on too. people. A lot of people. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, uh, do you have any plans to integrate, uh, you know, like... Um, Every product that is uh, for the distance skating, as in like from wheels to bearings to bushings to trucks to everything that is made, you know, like is of Black Dog Skate Shop, you know, like instead of, uh, you know, integrating third party components into it. Do you have any plans for that? Uh, no, for sure not. Um, okay. We produce decks, forks, brackets, and we set up good, decent LDP complete. Mm-hmm who don't cost a fortune. Um, Steffen has some more ideas about a zero degree rare truck system, mm -hmm. uh, but that's about it. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, like, where did this uh, brilliant idea came from, wherein, like, uh, you want to mill an uh, entire block of aluminium, uh, including the 15 degree uh, angle for the front fork, instead of, you know, like, bending the aluminium to 15 degree, which would not be that strong, you know, like, how did this brilliant idea come? Uh, come you know, like. Yeah, it, it came from the knowledge and the experiences that bending aluminum uh, always weakens the material. Mm -hmm. And therefore, Stefan uh, suggested to mill and machine um, it from a single block uh, with a 15 degree angle. Oh. I thought that's a very brilliant, good idea. And in this special case, I wanted to have uh, the best fork on the planet. That's and great. it is. <laughs> of course, of course. In the most affordable, yeah. uh, you know, price range. Yeah. 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 yeah that act, that, that will actually pull more people into LDP. Uh, that's awesome. And it, it's uh, produced, as I said before, in my hometown region. So we have um, production plants uh, oh. in Germany. So it's made in Germany. Don't know if it really counts, but I think uh, we are doing a good job here. 
That's amazing, actually. I thought like you're going to be outsourcing it somewhere, but you're doing it in house. I mean, like from in house. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, everything. Also the um, the decks. We do it everything here in my hometown region, so I can always step in in the um, production processes uh-huh. and uh, uh, control the quality and um, share my experiences uh, with the materials. That's amazing, actually. So, mm. uh, like, uh, mom, uh, like, how is your other product, like uh, zero degree adapter? You know, like, uh, uh, how was stainless steel was your choice for that uh, zero degree adapter? Did you consider mm. any other materials like aluminium or different type of aluminium? Yes, uh, we thought about that, but mm-hmm. uh, as I said, bending aluminum is uh, not the best idea at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, the profile of the ZDA requires extreme bending up to 90 degrees. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't do that with aluminum. Uh, so the choice was uh, stainless, sta- um, stainless steel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stefan also thought about carbon, but uh, in the end, carbon is way too expensive uh, still. Maybe in the future is an alternative yeah cool cool ma'am uh tell us about your uh f0 uh fork you know like uh, the possible setups with f0 fork yeah this was this one yeah yeah <laughs> remember yeah the f0 fork is made exactly as the f15 fork but of course oh. without the 15 degree angle yes it's the same it is a cnc mold uh awesome. from the same kind of material and mm-hmm. it can be combined in two ways. Cool. Uh, first, you can take a zero degree base plate and use it with a F0 fork mm-hmm. as a zero degree rear truck system for LEP bracket boards. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm planning to offer this uh, next year, beginning of next year, maybe. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, that fork yeah. can be used as a drop board as well. Uh, as in like yes. You can flip the trick. Our truck yeah uh, i can use it with zero degree or like uh, a regular mount as in but the uh, yes exactly in the longboard way oh yeah That's yeah brilliant. the second possibility is that you can just mount two f0 forks to the deck and use it as a classic drop down longboard with the truck of your choice that's oh, great that's a brilliant uh, thought actually awesome but yeah that's cool. Um, that's cool. I think this will be on the Black Dog website uh, pretty soon as well. Awesome. So do you have different colors for this? Uh, for the... Uh, for the um, F0? Forks? Four? Yeah, for the forks. Yeah, maybe. 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 Okay. We, will, we have to figure it out uh, okay. in the near future. I understand. Yeah, but I don't... Um, because you asked about the other parts that may, maybe um, have a different color, uh, we don't think that we will be uh, there will be a custom grip tape or something special okay. uh, in different colors or, or different kinds of shapes or something like this. Okay, that was my next. It's not question, our actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's um, it's not our core business. Uh, there are a lot of branches worldwide. They are doing a lot better than us, so <laughs> okay. we let them do uh, by their own. Cool. Live and let live. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, Black Dog Skate Shop is not getting into grip tape thing. Okay. Awesome. No. So, uh, mom, uh, I happen to uh, read your terms and conditions, you know, like mm-hmm. uh, with, of the Black Dog Skate Shop from the website. And uh, I happen to uh, read few things wherein like as an um, uh, outstation customer or like from a distance customer like me, I uh, like if I'm going to uh, purchase a product and uh, and the product has to be returned in case of any damage to claim the refunds, you know. And it also says like if I'm going to lose the product in transit, it, it complicates the situation wherein like I can't be able to return the product and you won't know like if you can trust uh, what uh, the customer is saying like if the uh, you know like product is lost during the transit like so in that situation how one can uh, claim the refund money from Black Dog Skate Shop you know there is a little yeah. bit of risk in there. Maybe there's a lack of understanding on my side of uh, the terms on conditions because uh, you have to remember um, English is not my mother tongue yeah, so, so is mine. Uh, maybe so is mine. yeah uh, okay um, so but 
to make it clear, uh, the damaged or lost packages are covered by the insurance of the logistics forwarder. Okay. If the parcel gets lost or the product gets damaged during transit, uh, you will get your money back in full amount, of awesome. course. Um, these terms and conditions are written down in case of dislike. Okay. By law, by German law, maybe it's different in other countries, by law you can hand back unused products up to two weeks after delivery. Okay. So you can unpack it, watch it, and you know, okay, it's not my taste, and you can um, send it back to us. Okay. You will get your full refund, but you have to pay the shipping costs. Imagine other way around, uh, everyone is... Um, is getting parcels from us and don't want it and send it back and we have uh, twice uh, shipping costs. That's not possible to to do a business. Um, the same is with the PayPal um, or the money transfer fees. Mm -hmm. I would say that's uh, like almost every shop expect uh, except uh, maybe the big players. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it depends on the payment gateway that you are using as well. Okay. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for uh, clearing that for us. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, who handles your uh, uh, social media <laughs> uh, accounts and, uh, yeah, you know, like uh, other relations with Blackstock, uh, SketchUp customers, you know, customer service thing? Who is handling all those things? Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's as everything amazing. I do it. Yeah, as everything I do it mainly all by myself with, of course, help from uh, Steffen. Uh, due to my philosophy, I don't buy likes mm -hmm. and I don't fool people with false content. That's great. Rule number one and two, and uh, that's all. That's... I share the Black Dog products uh, and my experiences on my social, uh, social media accounts. Okay. Stefan shares whatever he likes on his private social media accounts. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we like everyone who's into ADP and we don't care which brand someone is writing. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if it's a black dog or another branch. And I'm getting so much nice feedback directly uh, from the black dog customers, which okay. I really appreciate and what I'm very thankful for. That's awesome. That's awesome. Actually, you're very inspiring. You know, like you are taking care of everything as such a uh, one person and as a woman, and that's very inspiring for many people. And uh, people from my part of the land, you know, they're going to be even more inspired because skating is uh, still a stigma in certain way, other than the metropolitan cities in India. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm very glad that I had this opportunity to talk to you, ma'am. So, I guess uh, we have come to the end of our session. So, um, uh, I'm going to give the space to you. Uh, you can yeah. say the, uh, you know, the message for uh, a distance skating community or to the women in distance skating community. Please go ahead. Uh, the space yeah. is yeah, there's, uh, there's only one wish. Uh, I would love to see the ADP community growing mm -hmm. and getting more popular mm -hmm. uh, because I think ADP is the longboard style that has the most potential mm -hmm. uh, to reach the average uh, longboarder. Oh, great. I think uh, once you experienced uh, the propelling motion uh, mm -hmm. of pumping, you never want to push again. So, <laughs> yeah. if you ever did it once, you never want to push again. And it's quite easy, easy to learn, mm -hmm. and it's not that dangerous. Uh, I think a lot uh, more people would love to ride a bracket board if they just knew about the technique um, of pumping. Um, and if the completes were less expensive, that's uh, also a wish, yeah. And uh, for all, all of this, I have founded the Black Dog Skate Shop. And I think so far, I'm the only shop worldwide that offers a decent LDP complete for about uh, 340 euros. To me, it seems that more and more women are getting into longboarding. Mm -hmm. I recognize this. And also in LDP. And I hope this will go on. I also wish This is that. my wish for the next year. 
That's amazing. That's amazing, ma'am. It was absolute pleasure talking to you. And uh, as a personal request from my side, you know, like if you can make uh, assembling videos of your products or like introduction videos of your products and put them online, you know, on your YouTube uh, channel for Black Dog SketchUp or something, you know, that will be more interesting and even more, you know, reachable to customers to understand your products even better. You know, so that would be Thank my you personal much, yeah. request. So yeah, uh, it was absolute pressure, pleasure talking to you. So inspiring. Uh, Nandri, Nandri, we use the same hand gesture and say Nandri as a thank you note. So thank you. Oh, it's so called much. Na yeah. Nandri or what? What would what did you say? Nan Dri. Nan Dri. Nan P. Dri Dri. D R I. Yeah. D R I. Nandri, yeah. one word. Nandri. Yeah. Nandri. Yeah. That's thank you very awesome. much. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you yeah, so thank much. Yeah, thank you for giving me the chance to talk to you, to talk to you about uh, Black Dog Skate Shop and ADP in general. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for trusting me as well. I have to put that on uh, the record actually. So thank you. I, I'm looking forward for the video. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice Sunday evening. You too, ma'am. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you. Is that Mr. Stefano there behind the camera helping you out? Yeah, let's tell him <laughs> I say hi to him. Come here. Uh, come here, Mr. Kotsmitish. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was listening the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He told me on the chat. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Stefan from uh, Black Dog. Well, actually, not really from Black Dog, but I just do the design and uh, put together the completes for Black Dog. And uh, I have been into longboarding since I was 10 and uh, started with uh, my first longboard in uh, 1978. So that uh, was uh, quite a long time ago. Cool. Yeah. And I hope everybody enjoys longboarding and especially LDP. Super cool. I say adios. I'm like, ciao. Yeah, sure. Have a good day. Enjoy so the rest of your day. And uh, as yeah, soon as bye. I receive the images, thank you, ma'am. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Have bye. a great weekend. As soon as I receive the images, I'll begin the edits. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Yeah. yeah. Thank Happy you too. Happy Sunday. Bye. Bye. Bye.